hello, hello people. Today I will show you how to create custom brushes in my bank uh, 2.0.1 the newest compilation. Actually I'm very sad because this is my last day of holiday in Poland. So I will be leaving soon to UK again. Oh, this I actually got long history that application. Okay, I will open my project. The only thing which I like very much is program. So it has unlimited canvas size, but I because it was slowing down my PC so I was able to use this option but today I will be talking how to use uh, custom brushes for example if you select one of them uh, let's check this because we got uh, uh, brushes like that one, that one I like that one. I will use that one. When you select brush, you can go to edit brush settings or you can click space bar on a keyboard. You, you can choose two different options. Okay, now if you use option copy to new, what's the name of this brush? And you can also rename uh, and rename water water fringe updated because when you have your own preset, you can uh, choose quickly between your modified brushes you don't have to look for another brushes okay let's check this wait a minute i have to check something i have to switch to different layer mm, i didn't check opacity opacity was too low also check option like Smudge because it's, it is important to have lower value of this option if you want to. As you can see, you can now paint by using your modified brush. But this color is boring. I could actually choose a different color. When you once click on that, you have option palette. Uh, you can choose from here. What is this? You can add the custom color to the palette. Now, as you can see, I can use this brush to paint the, um, the good thing is you can uh, save uh, you can save your palette not only palette but as well brushes Okay, let, let's check our brush. We didn't modify something else. Very important option is hardness. I will decrease option hardness. I like very much Jigger option. Uh, also, option like that. Like important. Sometimes, when you increase the uh, value of that option it may slow down
sometimes it's useful. What I have to do, I, I will have to change something. Uh, option G a little bit lower, maybe well. Gicker was disturbing me. Lower the value of Gicker. I have a, actually I have separate layer. This is my cartoon. I I grew this yesterday. I created yesterday this. Uh, I don't know how to say in English. I have grown in this yesterday. This is probably correct things. You can do the same with uh, brushes. I'm just thinking. But I cannot select all of them. To check people something if I can export. Uh, how many brushes I, I must check because I don't know if all of them will be saved or one preset. Uh, also, I forgot to tell you about something Im important when you paint because you may not know and I was struggling. Uh, give me a few seconds because it is important. I just need, uh, I need to check something. Uh, all of them have been uh, put uh, to zip file. As you can see, all of the brushes have been uh, packed uh, to my zip file. Okay, I, I just uh, exported to zip file so you can upload to server your custom brushes. Okay, now. I will tell you what facing what issue I was facing when I use the this option of basic multiply. Unfortunately, brush behaves like this. I don't click on my keyboard. This is bad, and I have to. Change this. Never use of ACK multiply because that option causes your brush to leave ugly line. It is the same with all brushes. It will behave exactly the same when you use any type of brush. So this option of ACK multiply I left uh, off. So don't increase and don't play around with a basic multiplay because that option causes your brush to leave unnecessary strokes. When I first used my paint program I actually know about this. So my first images which I painted were looking very very bad and they look awful. I hope that you like my video. Also you have history uh, which colors you long time ago but instead of using these recent brushes you can use uh, your uh, save the brushes as presets. You can also export the YogPG for Mac. Also GIMP and Krita supports uh, this for Mac. I don't, I don't know, I don't remember exactly full name of this for Mac, but it's being used open raster this is open raster format is being used 
by Creed ka, I, I strongly believe that you can import uh, to Creed ka that file. But the only thing which I don't like, application saves quite long my project. Sometimes uh, some brushes work a little bit too slow. So uh, this is a big downside of application. But after showing you how you can configure brushes, I hope you like my new and updated video. Okay, bye.